Basically, the factory, the Jushi, was established in 1990 under the Ministry of Economic Affairs. But uh, later on, in 1992, it was privatized under sole property of Mr. Norbert Tinsen, who is my father. So actually, he started like uh, he was sent as a missionary to Japan to know more about the paper and all. So later on, he came up with this kind of uh, the government came up with the to set up this factory, so uh, in 1992, up with the upcoming of the private sector, so the government initiated to turn this into a private sector. So he just came up with the idea of uh, putting the paper into a business commercial term. So start from here. This is the raw material. It's a bark from a Daphne. Uh, Daphne is a part of a mulberry family plant. Mm -hmm. We have two kinds of uh, raw material, which is a black Daphne and a white Daphne. Mm -hmm. So this is the white Daphne. Mm -hmm. So white Daphne uh, found at the lower elevation of uh, around 1500 meters. Mm -hmm. And the black Daphne maybe above uh, 2600 meters. So after collecting the raw material like, from the uh, plantation area, then they bring it as a dried one. So after that, we store it and then first process will be the soaking, where we soak the raw material like, uh, for 24 hours. And after that, we cook for 5 hours. And after that, we take it out, do the washing, it is just with the plain water. And then we wash it for around 6-7 six, six, times, like we change water every time. And then after washing it then we take it to a cleansing where we remove the unordered parts all by hand so that process is done inside where the ladies they sit around and then do the cleaning process so the cleaning process is here <coughs> so this is where we separate the fine parts from the bad parts all by hand so, but we don't waste the unordered parts, we just collect it and then make it into a rougher quality paper. Uh, actually, actually, we don't have to sit up, we just have to see the black unordered parts and collect the good ones. But it's that way, it's easier to collect the good one, faster room faster. So, after collecting the good fine fiber, uh, we bring it here. So this is the pulping machine where we put the clean fiber in this Holland beaker where we crush it and uh, cut it into a small pieces. So this is what we get of pressure. So this is the pulp. And then after getting a pulp, we take this uh, pulp to the tail, mix it with the water. And then we add a, a starch from a hibiscus plant, or from a vegetable plant. So we mix everything in the tip. And with help of a very fine bamboo screen, we make it into a paper form. So like screening out the pulp from the water. That's the single sheet of paper. So it will be piled up. So it will be piled up on the paper bed one by one. The same process goes again and again. So after piling up uh, around 300 pages, then next day we take the whole stack to compress for three hours to squeeze out the water. And after squeezing out, then we have the final process, the drying process. We separate the pages from the stack one by one and put onto the steam electric dryer. So it takes three minutes to drive the paper. In the, and the process is the same as putting a wallpaper. So and after drying, you just take off the, the dried one. Dry, and this is the final paper. So 
also like uh, to get more colorful decorative design on the hand paper. We sometimes add leaves, flower petals to add more colorful things to the paper. And also for the color paper, we add dyes like natural dyes from walnut shell, blue pine bark, matter, different things. This paper lasts very long. Uh, the white Daphne will last more than 300 years.